I just tried to tap off the brush. It's liquid for fuck's sake. Don't hate me, Gaga. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. Hey guys, so today we are going to be reviewing, first impression, testing out the new House Laboratories makeup brand, which is Lady Gaga's new brand. This launched, well, okay, there's a launch and then there's a, a launch. This pre-order launched back in, I believe, July. Let me just double check when I ordered this because it was a freaking ass long time ago. Order confirmed the 15th of July is when I ordered it and it did not ship out until September 17th, which is a long time. That was a really bizarre choice on their part. I don't really know the whole thought process behind it, but it was a pre-order. Maybe that's so they could fulfill all of the orders and not have a sellout and then having to restock, but it just felt like such an odd choice to do your first launch, first brand, get the hype going, get the excitement going, get people ordering it, and then they don't even get it for two months. I don't know, it just seemed like such an odd choice to me. Frankly, it was so long from ordering, I forgot about the brand completely and forgot I ordered it. <laughs> so I did buy these products myself. I did not receive House Laboratories PR. I did tweet about like, I'm not jealous at all for not going to their party. I did find out I actually was invited, but I was invited two days before the event. I don't live in LA, I live in Washington state, so I wouldn't have been able to make that time work. But it was kind of cool to know I was invited. I would have liked to meet Gaga, but. So I did like undo the tape of the box, but I have not opened this yet. I don't remember what I ordered. I don't know anything. So we're about to find out all of this together. The brand itself, how I felt about it when I first saw it online. I gotta be dead honest with you, I was underwhelmed. I was surprised by the products that were launching for Gaga herself. Like I see Gaga is so extra. The makeup is so extra and so unique and cool. And I would picture like, like cool, like chromey looking. I don't know. I kind of would maybe picture the branding of like milk makeup or Fenty. And I was just a little bit surprised by the choice of packaging and products. I thought to have like shimmery eyeshadows was not surprising, but I was expecting like bam in your face, like really cool, unique, spiky, cool shit. And I feel like I was just a little like, Liquid eyeshadows and pencil lip liners. Okay. So we'll see today. Maybe they're gonna be the best thing I ever tried. Maybe not. I really like Lady Gaga. I love her music. I have not seen A Star Is Born. I'm a fake fan. I'm just not a real movie watcher. It's at the end of the day. It has nothing to do with her. It's not you, it's me. I'm gonna be as unbiased as possible though because this is about the makeup. It has nothing to do with Gaga. Like at the end of the day, I'm a little surprised too, given that this is just purely coming from a place of a beauty reviewer. I'm a little surprised at the glowing reviews that I've seen, given that I try to take myself out of like who the brand is. So like, yes, this is Gaga's brand, but I'm gonna review the makeup regardless of whose it would be. So if this were an indie brand, would it be getting as glowing re of reviews as it's been getting? I don't know, we're gonna find out today because I just wonder if there's a little bit of a bias behind the products being Gaga's and that's why people are like, they're fucking amazing, they're the best thing I've ever seen, they're so amazing, they're so creamy, they're so beautiful. And I wonder if this were just some indie brand that just released that wasn't Gaga's, if people would be like, packaging's a little bit, eh, products are lackluster, you know? So we're gonna find out. Maybe I'm just being a negative Nancy naysaying ass bitch and that sounds about like me, so let's go. So here is the box, open it up, it says, house laboratories in there. So it looks like there, it comes with a couple little pieces of paper and these bags that say house on it. And they're like a plastic makeup bag. And I'm a little surprised to see, I guess I must've ordered it in this way, but I ordered like little kits. Each one seems to come in its own plastic little makeup bag, which I would not have done that had I known. So I guess if you were buying just one of these or you were giving this away as a gift, it would make sense that it would come in a little plastic uh, makeup case like this. It's not my cup of tea. It looks like those little like Christmas tinsel inside of a plastic makeup case. It is a little like wavy because you know, it's not like super sturdy. I think in each one of these comes the liquid eyeshadow, a pencil liner, like lip liner, and then a lip gloss, I believe. When I did order on the 15th or whatever of July, I ordered like really, really fast. Like I was like clicking, 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 just getting as whatever I could and checked out because I thought like this is gonna sell out in 2.2 seconds, like everything that Kim Kardashian and Kylie and everything does. So I checked out really fast. I don't know what I got in here color wise and everything like that, but this is an Amazon exclusive, which is also a really interesting choice to do an Amazon sold makeup 
line. I've just never seen anything done this way before with a pre-order of two months and then being sold on Amazon. And what I wonder is if the pre-order was that necessary because it seems like the products were available on Amazon the day of launch. So anyway, I probably would have just done it that way instead. I don't know. I feel like I'm being too judgmental off the bat. Let's just open up. I don't know what this is. This reminds me kind of a Pat McGrath Labs. I don't know what's the thing about makeup brands all having the word labs after it. There's like Pat McGrath Labs, House Labs. I feel like I even just saw another makeup brand today that popped up with the word labs after it. I don't know. I guess it's kind of cool. So it looks like these are maybe additional either eye or lip products that I got separately and they came in a bag. It's a lot of excessive packaging. I will say this is like a plasticky bag and then each set came in its own makeup bag, but I likely just ordered it that way without realizing. So that's not on the brand. I think that's on me. So let's open up the first. It looks like... At there's no markings on the outside that say what type of bundle this is. This is On Point, Le Riot Lip Gloss in Corset, and then Chained Ballerina. And I think that's the eye product. So this is the lip liner here. It's a typical like sharpenable pencil lip liner. And then the really only differentiating thing to, from like a MAC pencil or any other thing is the lid. It's got like this little kind of diamond shaped lid. Everything's like a matte black. I'll swatch that on my arm so you guys can see. I'll try to do everything. Oh, nice and glidey. This is the gloss in corset. And then this is the eye product that comes with it. And this is Chained Ballerina. Whoa, okay. Really liquidy, more liquidy than I was expecting. No smell. So this right here is all in one set. We'll see how these dry down. So this is the next set. This is the Rip Lip Liner in Rule. They're very glidey, those feel nice. This is Attitude is the gloss. And this is the Glam Attack Shadow in Dynasty. Hmm. This is kind of fun, it's like Christmas. I do not remember buying any of this. I feel like I picked the wrong background color for this video and the wrong sweatshirt. I look like Pollyanna doing a freaking makeup tutorial with Gaga's makeup. I should have worn like a negligee or something. So this is the lip liner in Myth. The lip gloss in Venus. And the Glam Attack in Aphrodite. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, this is the final bundle that I bought. This is the Ride lip liner. Blaze lip gloss and Biker Glam Attack. And then I got two more products. I don't recall. Oh, these are the Glam Attacks. I think I got two additional shades that weren't in the bundles that I was able to get. And this is, wait, Chain Ballerina. Didn't I already do that one? Son of a bitch. I already bought Chain Ballerina. Well, I accidentally bought a second Chain Ballerina, so. And then this is an additional Glam Attack that I bought in the shade Rose Bitch. Wow, that's a really beautiful swatch, good job. Here's everything from House Beauty that I was able to get. Each little three is a section. It doesn't scream gaga to me, but maybe it's just meant to be more wearable for the average everyday person. I didn't get the gold. No, I, I accidentally didn't buy the gold. Well, son of a bitch, that's the one I really wanted. This entire order came to $251 for this. So that's really expensive in my opinion. The one that I think draws me in the most of all of them would probably be this first guy here. This one, I mean, they're all pretty, but here's how I feel about them just on first impression. I feel like a lot of this is dupable with just what I already have. Like the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Shadows. Like I feel like this one would be one that I have very similar. This one too, maybe this one as well. I don't have a green and I don't have one quite that color. Lip liners look relatively dupable to me because they're all kind of nudes, which I'm surprised by. The lip liners and lip glosses all look relatively dupable with something that you could find from other brands, if you understand what I mean. They're nudes, which I'm surprised by. I was expecting more vibrant, bright, sort of, I don't know, like Fenty lip product colors. I would almost expect what Fenty has done with like their Stunna lip paints and even their like Mademoiselle lipsticks. I would expect those more from like a Gaga-esque makeup brand. And so I'm a little surprised by the colors, I'm not gonna lie. And the products themselves I think aren't like bad. Obviously I haven't tried them on my face yet, but they're a very surprising type of product from Gaga. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe I just don't understand what, what she wears on her face. And maybe this is exactly the type 
type of products that she wears. Or maybe the brand's not even centered around what she would wear. They're pretty though. I really like the way that this one looks in person. It's a lot prettier than it is on camera. This one too is really, really pretty. I could see myself layering this over eyeshadows often and they do dry down. Um, so that is another thing to mention. Like if you look at this green right here, it dries down completely dry, but it's like shiny. So yeah, I'm really interested to see. I feel like these are more complimentary products than they are standalone. And what I mean by that is I've seen almost every review or makeup look that I've seen from it is somebody doing like a winged out liner with the products without using them like in the center of the eye. That's not personally how I would use a product like this most likely. If I was gonna use a product like this, which is the Glam Attack Liquid Shadows, I would probably be doing it in conjunction with existing matte eyeshadows, not just using it on its own. But maybe that's because I'm such a basic bitch. <laughs> I hate my hair today. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I feel like the one I'm gearing the most towards is the first one, but I kind of want to, I want to try multiple of them. So maybe I will do an eye look that's just all shimmers. So I am going to put on, maybe, do I put on eyeshadow or do I just go with the Glam Attacks? I'm just going to go with the Glam Attacks because you know what? Fuck it. I can't believe I got two chain ballerinas and none of that gold. That's actually so annoying. I'm gonna use a few of the different products just to try them out. I really like the way this one looks. This is Aphrodite. This is one of the Glam Attacks eye products. And I wanna try it out on my eyes and I'm gonna try tapping it out with my fingers, but I'm also gonna try maybe with a brush to see. I'm gonna use a little brush. This is the ColourPop E13, just to sort of tap out the edges a little bit and like buff them out. Since these do fully dry down, that'll be probably pretty decent for the wearability of these. I wanna try that other black one. Like the other one is really pretty, the Chain Ballerina, but the other dark one was called Biker. And I think I even prefer that one. So I'm gonna try that one next. That one goes on pretty pigmented. Let's see if it can kind of soften out a bit. So yeah, if you pat it with a brush, it's definitely gonna lose a lot of that pigmentation. So if you're wanting it to be a little bit more, not even a little bit, a lot more sheer, then I would use a brush or your finger. It has a beautiful reflect to it. It's really, really impossible to tell on camera because cameras are stupid idiots, but it has like almost like a rainbowy silver reflect in that one. I know this isn't the cutest eye look, but it's like all shimmers. So I really don't know what to do about that. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Chain Ballerina on the outer portion. It just feels so natural to do that winged out look with this because if you're not using additional shadows, like what else are you supposed to do, you know? They feel pretty lightweight, which is cool. And I was able to get like a fun little gradient with it. I feel like I wanna use a little bit of that first one just to liven up the front a little bit more. Oh, I used a match. So I'm gonna dip a little brush into that chain ballerina color. I just tried to tap off the brush liquid for fuck's sake and i'm gonna like take it from the outer portion right here up so that that shape is a little better <sighs> okay this is awful <laughs> let me take like a little flat brush thanks i hate it Okay, I think I'm going to try different colors on the other eye because I might as well. I could create like a full look like this or I could just test out all the different products and say screw it. So I think that's a little bit more where I'm hanging out in that headspace right now. So let's do it. So the other colors that we have are this one is Dynasty and that one is like the goldy green. And then I have Rose Bitch which neither of those are gonna look good together. But I'm gonna use this other one again. This was Aphrodite. Really pretty. I like the texture of these. They're very like comfortable to wear on the eyes. They don't feel overly heavy or anything. So this is the shade Dynasty. This one is like green with gold. I wish that I had that other gold one so bad. I'm so stupid. I have done the same look that everyone else has done with that freaking winged out eye. What else are you supposed to do, you know? 
All right, and then I guess we should take chained ballerina one more time and do the wing. This one you're gonna wanna be a lot more careful with because it definitely is pigmented. So you're not gonna wanna like just go haphazard with it. It's so, it's a little bit difficult to work with. Not my best eye look. <laughs> Let me throw some lashes on real quick and then we can work on the lips. Yeah, let me do that. Okay, lashes are on and I feel like the eyes look fine. Like they looked a little bit like uh, intense before I put the lashes on, but now it all kind of works together and makes sense. I want to, I think, take the lightest shade again. This is the Aphrodite. I see myself getting the most use out of this color and I want to run it on the inner corner and underneath the eyes. I love a shimmery lower lash line. Some people are like not a huge fan. That ain't me. And then I'm, oh, feels weird. It feels like I'm crying and my eyes are wet but I'm not crying. But my eyes are wet. What's everyone's favorite Gaga song? I heard that her least favorite video is Telephone and I was like, how? That is the most iconic, best video. I've watched it like literally 150 times. It's so cool and quirky and weird. It's my favorite video. I can't believe that that's her least favorite video. When I saw that on Twitter, I was like, how dare you? So I couldn't find a dark liner, so I'm just gonna use a nude actually. This is the Makeup Geek nude liner. I think that, that's fine. I really would have preferred a black, I think. Kinda looks like I'm crying, but like in a really cute way. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little of the green on the bottom, middle of that side. Just a little, little tipple tapple. And then a little bit of the, you know what? I'm gonna pull that down a little bit more, just so that it's like a little more avant-garde-y. Who's it gonna hurt, you know? I don't think it's gonna hurt anybody. I think it's only fitting. Hmm, that's cute. That's fun. I like that. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with the green on the other side since we're just saying go for it. <laughs> now it really looks like I'm crying. All right, let's move on to the lips. Everything is a little bit nude, which I'm so surprised by for this line, but you know what? We're just gonna try it. So I think I'm gonna try, this is the color that draws me in I think the most, and this is corset and on point. Hmm, okay. So this is a little more of like a warm nude, I would say. Nice, comfortable lip liner. It feels very average. It doesn't feel like overly crazy good compared to other liners I've used, but it doesn't feel bad at all. It feels nice and comfortable. I'm very picky with glosses, so let's see if this gloss is what I like. Mmm, very sticky. It's like a sheer gloss. It's not like overly pigmented. It's not too unpigmented. I'm not living for the shade on myself. I feel like I would like more of like a pinky nude. You guys really like this color on me. Like a lot of times I wear this color, people are like, what are you talking about? Okay, so let's break it down. I didn't try all the glosses. I have a feeling they're all gonna be very similar, but they are sticky. I prefer a gloss, in my opinion, to be more like glidey, lip oil, really soft. You have to apply them more throughout the day. They're just softer and more like emollient and glidey. I prefer that formula because sometimes these, or they can give you like the white inner corner or like that white ring around the inside of your lips. And I don't love that. I actually, not just don't love it, like I actually hate it. Um, It can also like give you those little lines when you're talking and it'll look like, like sticky lines. So I'm not a fan of that either. I'm not horribly uncomfortable. They feel like a very average gloss, but I definitely prefer more of like, I don't know, that really slippy texture, like the Patrick Ta gloss, the Lunar Beauty gloss. Those are so movable and creamy and so nice on the lips that this just is not quite perfect for me. Although, very glossy. And if you use this more on like the outer portion of your lips and instead of like going all the way in, I think that you can make it work really well. If you go all the way into the center is when you start getting those lines and like that white ring. So that's something to keep in mind. So I'm gonna go and talk about the products real quick and give my two cents on everything that I tried here. I think this is pretty much what the line has to offer. There's no complexion products right now. It's just the shimmery eye products right now. So like the liquid shadows, I know the makeup I did looks really weird. I just don't care. Like I was just trying to like have fun with the products and not worry too much about the final look because it's not to me it's just about testing the products and not like about the look I can create with it here's the thing with these products they're complementary in my opinion I don't think they're necessarily as standalone as they are good additions to other products I hope you know what I mean when I say that if you got an eyeshadow palette and you're looking for pretty eyeshadow toppers that are really shimmery 
these are that. I think my favorite one is gonna be the Aphrodite. You could transform any shade with that really because it is like a neutrally pinky white looking shade like the one on my inner corner. So you can kind of transform anything with that. The green is really pretty as well. I think that they all work the way that they're advertised to work. They do dry down. So that's something to keep in mind. But as you can see, I got a little bit of transfer when I did wipe my finger across it. The black shade, that chain ballerina is definitely pigmented. Like you can see it has a very very deep black base to it. So that's one you're gonna wanna use over a deep shadow or a, a cream shadow base or something. Or if you're doing like a really intense, deep smoky eye, you can use that in the center and pat it on. Likely you can pat it on with your fingers and get a more sheer application. Or you can swipe it on like I did and get that full pigment out of it like that. These products for me, I wouldn't do an eye like this very often. For me, because it's all shimmers, I usually like to go in with matte shadows, make the eye shape that I like, cut the crease, get everything like that, and then go in with my liquid shadows. Today I didn't do that because I just wanted to test these out on their own instead of like going in with another palette and then like creating something really unique in its own right and then like using these as a complementary. So as the standalone product, they work even in this capacity. So if you use them, as a complimentary on top of other products, like a beautiful eyeshadow palette that you love. I think you might really like these. The gold one looks stunning. I wish I would have got it and I think I will buy it because it looks so beautiful. It's like very, very bright gold shade. And I think that that is more my cup of tea. The products themselves, I think, are good. For our first launch, I guess, I for somebody like Gaga who is so eccentric with makeup, I'm a little bit surprised that there wasn't maybe more or more unique colors or more unique lip combo colors. I'm surprised to see like sheer lip glosses and just a lip liner versus like crazy cool, beautiful lipsticks with like awesome, like I, I don't know, I would expect such unique, crazy packaging and stuff. And these packaging is like pretty and, and everything, but it just feels very, I don't know, muted and downplayed for somebody like Gaga, but maybe that's just where she is in her life and the kind of thing that she wanted. So, I mean, who am I to say? I don't, I'm not Gaga. You know, do I think the products are bad? No. Are they my absolute favorite things I've ever used? No, they are what they are advertised. The lip product is not my favorite gloss formula off of just first application, but I don't hate it. And I would wear it again, I think, but none of them stand out to me in lip gloss, at least that I saw today as like, oh my God, that's so unique that you couldn't do it from something else. Obviously this is like a pretty decent, nice nude gloss. Is it something that you're going to never see anywhere else? No. And I do feel like with some brands and some products, you just get the vibe that they worked on them so hard that they're so unique in and of themselves. I like the green shade that I got in the um, Glam Attack liquid shadows a lot, but green isn't a color I wear all that often. So realistically, Aphrodite is one that I would use if I'm going to buy one. And I feel like two that I would recommend that you might get would probably be Biker and the Aphrodite shade, which are this one and this one. I feel like they're the most wearable. Stila has the uh, Magnificent metal glitter and glows that are, I think I prefer them. I just think they're even more shimmery. And for me, they dry down very similarly. They're very glittery. They're very beautiful. And they have very similar colors like diamond dust. Wanderlust is my absolute favorite. There's a whole bunch. All the colors of the Stila glitter and glows are absolutely amazing. They're so stunning. Like they are literally so beautiful. Overall, I think the lip liner is a lip liner. It's not like anything that I would rush to go purchase myself over any other lip liner. I think it's a standard feeling makeup. It's not bad quality at all. And it's not absolutely exceptional quality. I feel like it's middle of the road, decent quality. I think that it could have definitely been a little bit more exciting of a launch for me. I'm not shitting on the brand. I love Gaga and I wouldn't ever shit on anything like that. I just think now with the competitive market that we have with makeup, it's a lot harder to be as unique. And so I would have expected that of all of the brands to ever launch, House Labs would be like knock your socks off. Amazing. Because I didn't get the PR, I'm sure I'm missing a lot of the products. There is a face lace as well, which is a collaboration with Lady Gaga and the brand Face Lace. Uh, there were like little eyeliner stickers and then there were also like little curly face lace things. So if you're looking for like more avant-garde style for like Halloween, like masquerade looking, or she wore them at like the Super Bowl, I believe a few years ago. I actually did a Lady Gaga Super Bowl look similar to that, like on my Instagram. I remember back in the day when I would like play with makeup late at night 
night I was doing that. That's the face lace there. It's like a sticker that you put on your face. But overall of everything I tried, I think everything is just fine. I think that the colors are shimmery and pretty. I don't know how everything's gonna hold up since this is just a first impression. Let me know what you guys think. Were you wowed when you saw everything? Were you a little underwhelmed? Were you overwhelmed because it exceeded your expectations? I'd be interested to hear what you think of it. Everybody has such a unique style and personal preferences when it does come to makeup that take my review with a grain of salt. If you love it, don't let what I say sway you in one way or the other because if you love the packaging and you love the colors, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed in the formulas whatsoever. If you go into it with the right expectations, then you'll come out of it, in my opinion, happy. Let me just double check what I paid. You know what? The price is are high. Oh my God. The prices are ex so expensive. So if you're looking to know for a glam attack, a lip liner and a lip gloss is $49 US. It's not cheap. I'm not going to lie. I think that you can get, I feel bad because I know that Gaga fans and Gaga stands are going to be on this video and they're going to be telling me like, you just don't know. You're just a dumb bitch. That's fine. Whatever. But I think that ColourPop has really, really nice lip liners. They also have nice glosses. Patrick Ta Gloss is my one of my top favorites. It's so beautiful and comfortable if you guys can get your hands on that. I believe it's sold on Sephora now. If you can't, I'm so sorry, but if you can, I will, I'll try to link it in the description because it's the best. Like it's the most comfortable formula. Same with the Lunar Beauty Dreamy Gloss is like, that's the one in all my videos recently, if I've been wearing a gloss, that's the gloss I've been wearing. And so many of you guys have been like, what is that? And I'm like, bitch, I know. If you're looking for similar products, I would say you can go with a ColourPop liner, a Stila liquid eyeshadow, the Glitter and Glow, or the Pure Cosmetics Glitter Eye Polish are really awesome as well. Um, so you have options out there. It's not that you're limited to just these if you're looking, but I really think of all of them, the Stila Glitter and Glows are my top liquid shadow, like hands down, no comparison. But that's the kind of thing that I like. For me, generally, unless it's the Bite Beauty uh, flat white lip gloss, I usually like a clear-ish sort of lip gloss over the top of a colored lip product. Because for me, then you can buy all the different lip products, but you don't have to buy like 50, 60 different glosses, you know, in different colors. Because if you put a clear gloss on top of a red, it looks like a red gloss. Same with a black lipstick, same with a nude. You know what I mean? So that's kind of my cup of tea. So that's what I would recommend for everything. But if you love the branding, if you love the colors, if you just want to support Gaga, if you love the idea of having this in your collection, if you just think that the packaging is so beautiful, I really don't think you're going to hate any of the formulas unless you hate a little bit stickier of a gloss or unless you are not a fan of like liquid shadows in general. The brand to me feels very basic right now, but maybe it will expand so much into like something absolutely incredible and be something that you is going to be just blow our socks off. First start for a brand is always kind of a toe in the water, see how things go. I kind of expected like a bam in your face. Oh, and there is a liquid liner as well. I did not buy that. It wasn't even available on the site, I believe on the July 15th. It was like a weird launch idea. I don't know the whole like 15th and then not releasing for two months and then like coming out with products right before the launch that weren't available at the first pre-order, but then were, I don't know. I just, I guess I, I'm probably missing quite a bit of products in there. I've heard that the liner is good for some people and not good for others. That's not one that I can give you my review on right now because I don't have it. Maybe you'd have to judge for yourself. Okay. So the house lavatories by Lady Gaga, I, armor kit is liquid eyeliner and wingtip stickers for $35. The individual glam attack liquid shimmers are $20. Glosses are $18 a piece. And then the lip liners are $16 a piece. So that's like the prices individually. You can also buy things as a set for $49 each. That's my review on everything. It's not really so much of a review as it is just a first impression. I'll try these products in the future, maybe continue messing with them, doing some tutorials, trying them out over, you know, matte eyeshadows and seeing how they work as toppers or pressing them on. But for myself personally, I don't think I would necessarily reach for these over my Stila's. I prefer the packaging of the Stila as well because this is all black like this and you can really only see the color at the base. I'm not as inclined inclined to want to reach for something like this as I am a clear packaging where you can see the color. I'll pull a Stila one out so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I forgot to also mention that ColourPop has liquid shadows as well. They're called Supernova liquid shadows and these for me, I love them. I think they're amazing. I think they're like five or six dollars a piece so a lot cheaper than the Gaga ones but these are the Stila glitter and glows that I just love and you can see in the packaging you can see the color right through it. You don't have to dig through and like flip the bottle over to know. You know that right when you grab it that's what it's going to be and I'll swatch these so you guys can see. So you guys can see, here's the swatch of the Stila. That's like two swipes over it. And this is the shade Diamond Dust. Mine's a little bit dried out because it's pretty old, but look at that reflect. This is my ultimate favorite color. It is so stunning, you guys. It is so 
beautiful. You can't even begin to imagine how beautiful it is in person. It's like got greeny, pinky, purpley reflex in it. And that's just one swipe of the shade Wanderlust. If I did another, which I will, I'll do another swipe over the top so you guys can see it like in full pigment. That's it right there. So you can see it's got like kind of a pinky clear base to it, but it's so reflective. This one really does look like the dust of a diamond. And that one is so stunning. Like you can't even begin to understand how pretty it is until you're in person with it. It's just, oh, it's beautiful. But these are my definitely preferred formula, I believe, just in my personal opinion. So let me know what you guys think and how you guys feel about the collection. If you guys think that it's absolutely amazing or if you're a little bit like eh about it, I think that it's pretty all right. I think I'm just have too high of expectations because there's so much makeup now that's so good. I, mean, I think if this launched like four years ago, I would be like enamored by it. But things have changed so much that in just the amount of products that are so good now, it just raises the bar for everything else, you know? You can see that I'm already getting the white lines. Let me show you, see? starting to build up on the inner corner of my mouth. And that is because it is a stickier formula, so it's starting to kind of like bead up in the corners. I hope my review wasn't too negative. I have to be honest no matter what on what I think, and that's just how I feel. And hopefully, you know, you guys can understand that it does not come from a place of hate. I just have to be very forthcoming and honest with my opinions regarding any way that I feel, and I'm giving you my first impression, honest thoughts since I saw it the first time it launched to how I felt about the entire process, launch, everything like that. I think Lady Gaga Gaga is an amazing person. I love what she stands for. I love how inclusive she is. I love the whole vibe in which she emits from herself. I think that she's just really awesome. And I think that hopefully we can see some really cool things come from House Laboratories in the future. House Labs is also cruelty-free and vegan just for anybody wondering. So that's what I have to say about that. And hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos all the time. And I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Don't hate me, Gaga. Please don't hate me. Please don't hate me. <laughs> okay, my hair is a problem right now and I really don't want to talk about it. And maybe that's so that they could f fulfill all of, maybe so that. <laughs> From the line that, am I orange? Yes. My na my fingers are so fucked. Like the Stila glitter and go, gl <laughs> a bus. Maybe it's because they're not reviewing it in that way, but. I'm orange. You son of an orange. Overly he- Never! Cut me off again, you son of a bitch. <clears throat> okay, so now- uh, I have dropped everything today. <laughs> It's been a long time since I came. It's been a long time, but I'm back in town. This time I'm not leaving without you. I want your love and I want you to see. I want you everything as long as it's free. I want your love. La la la, I want your love. Where is it? You and me can write it back for me. No, the brand. <laughs> of all of them, the Stila Glitter and Girls are. Of all of them, the Stila. If I could speak, that would be fantastic.